Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about my thoughts and processes behind a now cancelled ZBrush project, and that is of my ARC inspired Jowy. So, like I said, this has now unfortunately been cancelled. I do plan to redo this entirely. I'll talk about why in a moment. But overall, I've been wanting to try out an ARC style Jowy for quite a while now. Not just for, you know, the fun, the challenge and the style, but also because one day I would really love to learn how to actually mod Ark and try get my own custom animals into the game. And yes, of course, that would include a Jowie. I've already got all the abilities and such in mind, the taming methods, all of that's already planned. I just need to learn how. But that is a topic for another day. For this actual model here, so I had, like I said, a couple of things in mind. Now, the entire point of it being an Ark style Jow is the fact that, as I think we've all noticed by now, in Ark Survival Evolved, their dinosaurs are very kind of over the top, kind of overtuned in a way. If you look at an animal such as a Parasaur, for example, they have a fair few spikes here and there. A lot of dinosaurs are also just much larger and much smaller. Uh, a couple of dinosaurs have like very unnecessary spikes or just features in general. So it's obviously, it's obviously not realistic. It's very, very stylized. And I felt like that my Jowie should also be as stylized so that one, it's, you know, distinctly a arc creature, not, you know, just any other creature. But also two, because I think if I were to import my actual Jowie into the game, it would just look very, very cartoonish. I would like my Jowie to be something that actually looks like it belongs in the game. And therefore that means a couple of design choices. So what I had in mind for my Ark Jowy was that it would keep the overall same body posture. So if you look at the usual Jowy artworks, it has very large hands, very large legs. It's very kind of frontal dominant. So it's got like a very large rib cage. Its feet are very large to maintain, you know, the, the right balance for the rest of its body. The tail extremely long. And it's got a very upright kind of posture. So again, I try to emphasize all of that into the arc variant while making it be just a little bit bulkier as well. And the legs as a result, just a little bit thicker to make it look like it can actually, you know, stand upright and support the weight. But now that I look at the model again, it's been a couple of months now, I've not been able to work on the model for a while just due to working on other content in general. I look at it again now and it just doesn't really seem like it's gonna work, unfortunately. Now my biggest reason for that is I've always planned on the Jowie being rideable. Law-wise, they're about, I'd say about the size of the Ark Uteraptor, maybe just a little bit bigger. I had them designed in mind that they could be ridden by a human if you ever wanted to. And especially in Ark Survival Evolved, they would absolutely be a ridden mount. But then that does come with a couple of issues. Uh, one issue is that the frills are going to be just a little bit too large and in the way. I'll have to go and have another look at the Velonosaur and see how that is dealt with because Velonosaurs also have like a very front heavy appearance and would obscure some of the vision. And I, I really don't like dinosaurs where you can't see in the first person camera. That's really obnoxious to me. So I'd love to make sure that in some way that wouldn't be a thing. In addition to that, speaking of a rider and, you know, front heavy, the horns would absolutely impale the rider. I mean, the horns on the Jawi are very, very large. So it really, really wouldn't work out in this scenario. And in addition to that, in fact, it's also their back spines. So they do have like a bit of a... A bit of a spine like a Spinosaurus and the Spinosaurus mount works really well because Spinosauruses are very like, what is it we called them before like a adapter pet I think a bit of a word we used from a live stream once where they can walk on both four legs and two legs and having the rider saddled up around the shoulders of the Spinosaurus makes a lot of sense because one it's then straight up at the front of their spine that way they avoid sitting on the actual spine part of the Spinosaur at all and they're like in a very good, you know, kind of like gravitationally balanced area. If I tried doing the same thing with the Jowie, where the player was sitting around the shoulders, it would just collapse. I mean, the Jowie is a biped. They could walk around like a Indoraptor, or in Ark's case, kind of like an Iguanodon. I suppose they could do that, but then it would have to be like a quadruped based dinosaur, and I don't want that. I want the Jowie to be like a reptile, with the option of going quadruped as one of its abilities, but not primarily so. I want it to be walking around like a raptor. So in other words, it does mean that the spine is just horribly in the wrong place. And looking at it now kind of reminds me of the fact that, okay, 
but the whole arc style in mind, I should probably actually go with an entirely different design altogether. When you look at things like the Dimetrodon, for example, when you look at the Dimetrodon in Arc Survival Evolved, it has its one very large frill, and then it has a couple more frills on either side. Additional spines on either side of their body, which is completely and utterly unrealistic, which I'm fine with. But it does kind of encourage me to apply that same, you know, lack of realism into the Jowie as well. And maybe I should go a bit away from the original design and really make it even more archified. It's, it's a very conceptual topic, like, of course, I'm talking about a fictional creature in the first place, but it's something where I don't want the Jowie and Ark to look too different because, you know, then it doesn't become the Jowie. But at the same time, I did make some very decisive changes to allow it to, you know, function in the way that I have imagined. And that does mean, you know, being ridden. So, like I said, it is, I've now decided for sure it's going to be like a cancelled project. I'm going to go ahead and redo this entirely. What I'm thinking is, for a start, I can either make the midsection longer, make the entire thing just a bit bulkier, a bit more of a barrel chest instead of a ball chest as it currently is. Maybe I could do that. That way it looks like it could go down to all four. So maybe give it like a bit more of an indirector body, maybe. Or what I could also do is actually make it a bit more bipedal, a bit more uh, straightened up actually, a bit more humanoid. Nowhere near humanoids, of course, but a little bit more upright. So, so maybe the center of balance of where the rider would be sitting would make a little bit more sense. I'm not sure. What I could also just do is move the entirety of the spine backwards slightly because where I would realistically like to have the player saddled up would be either around the hips or just slightly higher than the hips, like below the ribcage area. I think that area in general, just somewhere close to the legs would be an ideal center of balance. But again, I'll mean I have to move the entire spine downwards a lot. I think I should make the tail very over-exaggerated. I think that would just look really cool. I think I would like kind of make it differ a lot but I think that could look very interesting. The frill, <sighs> the frill, the frill. I want the frill to remain. I, need, I really need to look up the Vulanosaur and just see how that looks in the first person view because if the if the Jowie's frill is any smaller, it just won't look right. So now the horns, I could probably get away with changing the horns quite a bit. I've got a couple of ideas in mind for that actually, which could be quite interesting. And, I don't know, maybe just add some like spikes and such in other places as well, like really arc archify it. <laughs> Perhaps add like a bit of um, armoured plating around the hands and feet, because the hands and feet are meant to be large. Regardless of whether or not people may like it, I really don't care, but the Jowies do have opposable hands, so their wrists can bend in all sorts of directions, and that's why their wrists are so large on them, is to really kind of emphasise the fact that they're not frail, they're not fragile, that they're large and quite you know, functional. So I would like for that to be a little bit more enhanced on the model. Same for the feet. The feet are just large to, you know, handle all the balance and such. And um, because they're very fast runners. So I think just having some, a little bit like a like proto armor or osteoderm or something like that around the hands and feet kind of emphasize that a little bit more. Plus it would give for some very interesting color region and potential, I reckon. I'm not sure. It's something to think about for sure. And the face, <laughs> the face, the face overall just needs a lot of work. And for the face, I was really trying to go with something like very angry and sharp looking. I do want it to be sharp looking, but not as sharp as it currently is here. I feel like a lot of dinosaurs in Ark are kind of comically round around the face. Even the more sharp ones like the Allosaurus and the Uteranus just look a bit silly in my opinion. I, mean, I love their designs, don't get me wrong. But I think for the Jowie, it would have to have something like very sharp. In fact, I think a Garuga's Acrocanthosaurus is actually a pretty good example of that. Maybe? At least that's the kind of thing I'm aiming for. Like, at least that's where I'm setting the bar. That's the kind of quality I would like to try and reach. <laughs> Bit of a high bar, but still. Well, the one thing I am very, very concerned about is the animation. <laughs> Animating all the frills and spines is going to be a nightmare. But you know what? I kind of look forward to it. It's going to be a very interesting learning curve. But that's going to be very, very long in the future. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to kind of discuss, you know, the fact that one, this sculpt even exists. A lot of people don't know about this because I, can't, I kind of kept it rather secret. So now you know, this is a thing that I am planning on. I will be scrapping this one and doing it again. I want to try again with a bit of a different mindset or a different approach. I think my mistake actually may have been the fact that I was starting from a Jowie base. 
everything about the model was a jowy growing into arc i think i should probably do this the other way around what i should probably try is maybe just take the raptor model or something similar grab that and mold it into a jelly. I think that way it might kind of have like the right proportions for, for the game instead. I'm not sure. It's definitely something I need to work on and again, just like reconceptualize, rethink it over and figure it out. But yes, that is enough of me rambling. That is my idea. Now gone. <laughs> but don't you guys worry. One day I will revisit this again. I'm going to come back with a vengeance for it. So. Hope there's something you can look forward to, whatever it happens, I will maybe let you know, maybe I'll kind of tease it a little bit instead, we'll have to wait and see. But as always, thank you all very much for listening and for watching, hope it gives you something to think about, or at least something to be excited over. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day, and take care of yourselves. Cheers.